Good day everyone. This is Michael Afolayo of Flourish Field and today I'm very excited. I'm excited to tell you that we're going to be learning how to create interactive projects in Scratch. What we're going to be learning in this project is number one, we're going to be learning how to add backdrop to the project. We're going to be learning how to add sprites and then make our sprites interact, communicate with each other and then that'll be all. Just a short video and then we have a lot of fun. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to go to scratch.mit.edu. Now, this is the online version of Scratch. Mind you, you can actually download Scratch on your PC. I'll be showing you that in the next video, okay? But for now, let's use the online version. So, this is how we're going to be creating projects on the online version. So, you just come to the click and then click on start creating or you click on this create. Now let's click on start creating and then our scratch environment is launched. All right, this is a scratch environment and um, let's get started. Now the first thing you're going to be learning is how to delete, obviously delete the sprite and then use our own preferred sprite. So how do you delete? Just move your pointer to this delete icon and then you delete and then the, the sprite is gone. So now to create a story, we need to um, give it backdrop. Remi let me remind you let me tell you this you could actually create paint your own backdrop but we are not going to be doing that in this lesson okay maybe in the videos videos to come i'm going to be showing you how to paint backdrop but for now let's choose a backdrop from the backdrop that we have right there so to choose a backdrop you just come to this icon right there um which states um choose a backdrop and then you click on choose a backdrop now different backdrop of your choice you could actually pick any one of them so i'll be picking i just pick any random one so i'll be picking um let me just pick something okay probably okay spotlight yeah, I, don't, I just wanted to pick that okay all right no i don't want pick spotlight it doesn't look like where someone could have an interaction okay let's pick blue sky now this is blue sky and then we need to you know add our sprites now, to add your sprite, it's simple. You just come to this place and then you click on choose a sprite. So, when you click on choose a sprite, you select any sprite of your choice. In this case, I'll be selecting AB. Now, this is AB. All right. And I'll be selecting another one, which is Avery. And this is Avery. Now, these two sprites are going to be having a conversation. Now, how do we make these two sprites have a conversation? Now, first, we need to make every turn to the direction of AB. To do that, you need to click on Avery and then come to costume and click on costume. Costumes. Now in costumes, you could do anything you want to this sprite. First, you could flip it horizontally. Notice? Now when you flip it horizontally, it's now facing the second sprite. So they can have a conversation. Okay? All right, so to design also, maybe probably you want to change the design of this sprite. You could actually do it. Just pick on anything. Maybe probably pick on fill color and then change the color of the sprite. Maybe the clothes the sprite is wearing. Let's pick something cool, actually. Can you see that? Kind of like look like this scarf. But what she's putting on right here. The color... Okay, probably just change this also. Let's click on it. And after that, you go back to this and then you click on that. Now, to make it. So, you need to do the same for the second costume. And then click back on this. And then you flip. Okay. All right. So, for now, I'm going to be using the first costume. And I'm, I think I'm done with that. So, now let's start programming let's start coding we we want to make these two sprites have a conversation about anything oh, okay let's start so you click back on code and then we want to start the conversation so let's for example make a b start the conversation and probably she's going to start by saying hello what's your name and then a b every would reply and say hi uh, my name is Avery. And what's yours? Let's just think of something. But to start anything in Scratch, 
you are going to start with an event always start your scratch project with an event event actually uh, a, a block of codes that make your code run they always start your set of codes and also they make your code work work for example if you use when flag is clicked now when flag is clicked will will work only when you click on this flag so when you click on this flag for example whatever code you write under this event will be run by ab kind of like the starting point of the code yeah events are like the starting point of your program so now when flag is clicked for example and then ab wanted to say something and then we come to looks and then you, you drag this say hello and then you say hello hello what is your name sorry about that what's your name it's kind of like a simple conversation let, let us say that for five seconds so that people checking your story could actually relate to what, what you're saying so allow them to be able to read now she's saying hello what's your name and then she needs to reply you click back on every remember i said you always start with an event come to events and then you draw when flag is clicked now when flag is clicked what do we want every to do now when we click on flag for ab immediately she's going to say what is your name but for every when we click on flag what we want her to do is to wait for her to finish talking so because of that we're going to wait for the number of seconds ab is talking for example ab is talking for five seconds so every can actually wait for maybe probably six seconds so you come to control and then you drag this wait one second come to control then you drag this wait one second and then you select inside and then change it to six seconds so when we click on this green flag she's going to wait for six seconds before she now replies a b by saying you click on looks and then she says hi hi my name is avery it's nice it is nice to meet you and then you could actually extend it for five seconds and then said hi my name is Avery it's nice to meet you what are you doing in this deserted area something I'm just thinking of it just what are you doing what are you doing in this deserted area it looks deserted okay and then you could actually see that for uh, maybe four seconds and um, let's check our code so far let's see what we've done so far so let's make it big remember what we said about the code so when we click on run so she's saying hello what is your name now she's waiting for six seconds and then she's saying hi my name is Avery it's nice to meet you and then she's going to say another thing um, okay okay she didn't say this okay let's run it again and see hello what is the name and she's waiting as i say hi my name is avery it's nice to meet you what are you doing in this deserted area so now it's time for her to reply now this is where the logic comes in now there's a lot of calculation right here now Every is speaking for nine sec seconds, so that means A B is going to wait for how many seconds? Wow! If you said ten seconds, you're correct. If you said nine seconds, you're correct. So make it look like a conversation. She needs to wait to reply. So you're going to come to wait again, and then you type uh, wait for nine seconds, and then she's going to reply by saying. I was just strolling. I was just walking. I was just taking a stroll. Okay. You see, I was 
just take in this throw and I could take that for five seconds I was just taking this throw how about you you see it's already looking like how about you Oh, see, what are you also doing here? Doing here. And then let us see that for four seconds so it doesn't take too much of our time. Four seconds. And then let's check our code so far. Let's check our code so far. Hello, what is your name? Hi, my name is Avery. It's nice to meet you. And then she's going to say another thing. What are you doing in this desert area? Now, can you see that there was a mistake? Now, she she said something before she finished. It doesn't look like a it doesn't look like um it doesn't look like a conversation. So we need to fix that bug. Now let's go back to AB. AB was speaking for nine seconds. So she's supposed to wait for ten seconds. And then she speaks for eight seconds now let's check now let's look at it now hello what is your name hi my name is Avery it is nice to meet you what are you doing in this deserted area I was just taking a stroll what are you doing here you see now there's a balance now so you need to take take note of that. You need to do your calculation so that you don't make mistakes. So you can continue the story. You can continue going like that. So now, this is picking for four seconds. So this could actually wait for how many seconds? If she's picking for eight seconds, she's going to wait for nine seconds. You're correct. Nine seconds. Okay? And this is what she said. What are you doing? Or what are you also doing here yeah i was also taking a stroll okay yeah i was yeah i was also taking a stroll you understand you could just see that for four seconds and then okay you could just continue with the story like that and then you keep going before you know it you've created an interactive project so this is how to start um scratch projects nothing serious just something um playful something a bit small and then we step it up a bit by going to the advanced going to the game development game design animation and the likes okay so i am going to be ending this video right here in the next video I'll be showing you how to download Scratch on your computer and how to install Scratch on your computer. All right. I hope you love this video. If you do, I want you to click on subscribe. And um, I promise, we promise you that we are, we are going to be posting a lot of educative um, of, um, videos for you to learn computer concepts. Okay. So, all right. So, I'll see you in the next video. Um, bye.